Nonprofit Outreach Committee meeting um, as of January 16th of 223 at 5 p.m. Um, the first item on the agenda is the United Way campaign celebration on February 17th at the junior high. Uh, Mike, can you tell us about it? Yes, ma'am. Um, you know, I know the board's always asking us to continue to do all we can to increase, um, excuse me one second. Uh, okay. um, sorry, I, I, I had Randy help me out with something. I hit the wrong button accidentally. Um, on February 17th, the United Way is coming over to help us. Uh, or I'm sorry, we're helping them with their campaign celebration. As you know, the uh, Rustic Lodge has closed. And that's usually where they held their ceremony. And what they did was they asked the school to come forward and um, see if we'd be willing to host their event. And for a couple of different reasons. One, we're one of the only larger venues that can host everyone. And two, they really want to recognize our students for going out and above and beyond and for their leadership efforts in some of their campaign efforts with Turkey Thought and other things. So what I did was I connected the um, United Way campaign administration with the junior high administration and they're meeting together to have the event done February 17th at the junior high. So I think it's a great opportunity as, a, as far as connecting with the community, working with another nonprofit, in this case, the United Way, but also um, giving our kids opportunity to show and learn, uh, to show, demonstrate their leadership skills and what they've done to be recognized for their efforts. Now, again, we don't do these things just to be recognized, but it's nice as an aftermath, you know, as a, as a plus, we are being recognized. So uh, I just want to make the Outreach Committee aware of, it, aware of it because it falls in line with the values, I think, of the Outreach Campaign. And it's nice to see our kids being recognized for their efforts. That is wonderful. I, I can't wait. Um, next item is the Indiana Gazette on yes, collaboration. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I met with... Um, uh, the editor and one of his um, teammates uh, about what value added they can bring to our agency in the area of communicating with the public in the way of outreach. And right now we're going to go slow to go fast and look only at two things. And again, this is dependent on the whole board recommendation, uh, board, whole board support, but also the committee's recommendation. Right now, what you know we talked about was if we were going to enter, enter an agreement or partnership with the Indiana Gazette, we'd probably look at how we can increase um, awareness around the vacancies we have in the district and then increase our branding. One thing I would have to do where it gets a little difficult is I would have to meet with some other folks from IUP to help us in developing some sort of content for the, um, for the Gazette's website. So I'm scheduled right. to do that on Friday, January 20th. And what I did was I don't have to show them, but I included some different videos that I found online that we could use as far as promotion of branding material about what the value the district offers. Uh, and then if once we created that, the Gazette for a fee would be able to post it. And what I would do for, only for today's purposes, Ms. Blank, if you're okay with it, ask the committee to look at the, the item number four where it says options and cost, and then go through that and look and see if that's something the outreach committee uh, would want to support and go forward on. At this point, I'd have to go through it as well myself and look at the different types of things we could do and consider. Uh, but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities. But at this point, it's just really an FYI. At this time, All right. we can address it in future months if you're okay with that. Yeah. When is our next meeting? I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up on the website, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure. All I, right. Um, so let me... Okay, what I'm going to suggest is that at our next meeting, we have that ready to discuss. Okay. Um, I'll, re I'll reach out to the Gazette and let them know that, hey, look, no decision has been made. We want to look at some alternatives in addition to what's presented and get some cost on, on them and then try to come up with a real idea about what we want to do to make sure it works for us, if that's okay with you. And by then, I've also met with IUP and see what they can do and help out in the area of these creation of content, if that's okay with you. That sounds great. Um. Now, on to the IASD and IBPD partnership. Um, yep. Um, I want to take that one over as well. The borough council is voting on the proposal. We made the request, as you know, at the last meeting, we made the request for support and help uh, for the police, Indiana Borough Police to come in and, and handle those services within all of our schools. That includes the ones in White Township. They will vote on it, I believe, tomorrow night. And if it's approved, then I 
already previously drafted a release that I'd like to send out to our families to make sure they understand the value added as well. As I told the board last time we met, I did meet with the lead, uh, union leadership of both of the support staff and professional staff. And last week and now continue this week, we are meeting with the buildings to make sure staff understands exactly the benefit and the value added of this partnership. So I think next step logically would be communicate with our family. So I'd like to uh, get that out once the Indiana Borough Police Department, or I'm sorry, Indiana Borough Council makes their final decision. So again, nothing new other than just over communicating or um, communicating to our various stakeholders. And I thought the board should be made aware. I sent that letter to the board. They had time to look at it. I got, um, I think, some comments, but nothing drastic. So I think it's good to go, if you're okay with that. All right. That sounds wonderful. Um, I do have a question. How is the video editing software that we were looking at from the convention? Have you had a chance to look at that at all? Yep, yep. Rob, I have Rob working on with a couple of teachers in the Paltoon software. They are working on that. I know Elizabeth Woods and some others have it. Now, I haven't followed up with them, but I know they are in the early stages. I think the difficulty we're having, uh, we just have a difference of opinion. Me, I'd like to get one or two licenses for the, us to try where I think they want to see a much larger purchase. And I just don't think we're there yet, but we are lurking, we are working on it and experimenting. It's a little cumbersome at times, not very intuitive as much as I like to be, but there are some great opportunities that we just have to continue to vet out. So we've been pushing back slightly and gently, but you know, firmly that we want to go slow yeah. and fast on this to make sure it's a good investment. Yeah, we have to crawl before we start running down the block. Um, I fully agree with that. Um, yeah, that, that sounds wonderful. And um, I hope to hear some good news about, I hope to see a couple of those videos that they're working on uh, at some point yep. in, before. Agreed. What maybe I'll do, if it's okay, okay with you, either at our next meeting or at the next academic committee meeting, I'll see if um, I can have someone present it or show it, okay? I think that would be great. I think that would help a lot for some of the people in the academic committee meeting or the board to see how much, what a difference it can make or can't make on, you know, the both sides of the fence. I agree. Let, let me work on that and I'll get back to you. All right. Um, so I will mark that down for the next agenda as well. So, um, sorry, not near the computer. So I have to write everything slowly. Um, okay. So the non-agenda items, um, there was a couple of things that I wanted to bring up. Uh, one is I'd like to get a mission statement, not a mission statement, but a goal for us uh, written down so that we could try and achieve it by next year. Um, do you know what I'm, do you have an idea of what I'm talking about? I, I do. What, give me, I can't do it this week. I'm tied up tomorrow, Wednesday with meetings with the whole district. But by next week, oh. I can have something drafted for you. Yeah, no, I'm not talking immediately. I'm just, I, you way have too much on your, your uh, plate right now. I understand that. Um, I just want, it's something that we could talk about for the next agenda and maybe go forward on it. Um, yeah, I, I can, I so. can, let me, I, I'll draft you some ideas and that way we can present them at our next meeting. Let the public weigh in, go from there. That sounds great. Um, and the next thing and the last thing, um, Indiana Area School Board, not, uh, sorry, misspoke. Um, the Indiana Free Library got a donation to, start to get a 3D printer put in. Um, and I would like to see if we could also reach out to them and try and help them to get one implemented. I think that would be a great outreach uh, possibility for everyone. Um, and maybe if one of the uh, teachers that work with the 3D printer could reach out to me and we could both go to Kate Geiger at the library together, I think that would be a great um, opportunity. Yeah, I will, I will contact the tech ed guys, Scott, uh, Mr. Harrington, and Mr. Dolges at the junior high. And then what I'll do is I'll get them in touch with you. And we'll go from there if that's okay. That sounds perfect. Um, uh, I don't have anything else more than that. I was just, uh, I've been a little busy around the house lately. So, uh, around the community that I do. Um, so, I'm pretty much done unless you have something else. 
No, I, I'm good. That's all I have at this point. Um, yeah, I'm good. I, I'll make sure I <laughs> follow up on his other items. Yeah, I think that uh, 11 minutes is a record uh, for, for me completely. Um, I know Mr. So. Curtis is lying, and I know he's smiling right now. <laughs> Except for that Ohio State under 2A3. I'm not sure how that fits in. but I included two Penn State, Mr. Kerr. I tried to balance it to your Penn State. <laughs> I saw that. Well, you know, Penn State is very important to Pennsylvania. So I'm just saying. Um, but we have IUP as well. So. All, right. all right. Well. We'll see you next time, and we'll get to work on all these things and see what flies. All right. I'll see everyone at Builders of Grounds at 530. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye.